This is Nick with LogosByNick.com, and in this tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can distort the perspective of an object using Adobe Illustrator. For this demonstration, I will be using a text object. If you'd like to do the same with the text object yourself, just make sure to create outlines from it first by selecting it and going to Type and clicking on Create Outlines. Once you've done that, we're good to get started. So let me select the object here, and I'm going to look for the Free Transform tool, which is located over here in the toolbar. If you don't see the free transform tool in your toolbar, go to Window, Toolbars, and click on Advanced rather than Basic. Okay. Another thing you can do is you can press the letter E on your keyboard to bring that tool up. So I'm going to press E, and it's going to open the free transform tool. And once I do that, you'll notice we have this little flyout menu over here with these different settings. What I'm going to pay attention to for this tutorial is right here where it says Perspective Distort. I'm going to click on that. And with that selected, you'll notice there are four round handles in the corners of the object here. I'm going to zoom in on this to see it better. I'm going to hold Alt on the keyboard and roll up the mouse wheel a couple of times, and there we go. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of those little round handles, and I'm going to click and drag it. And if you notice, if you click and drag it horizontally, it'll change the perspective of the object on the horizontal axis. If you click and drag it up and down like that, it'll change the perspective on the vertical axis like that. Okay, now if you want to change the perspective in more of a freestyle nature, you can use this setting down here that says Free Distort. Now, if you click on that, you'll be able to change the perspective of each individual corner rather than having to do it on an axis basis. Okay, so that is how you can go about distorting the perspective of an object using Adobe Illustrator. If you have any questions, leave a comment below, and as always, thanks for watching.